to my knowledge, the last time in our nation's history that we were systematically turning away refugees was during World War II, when we shamefully turned around boats of people who went on, Jews fleeing persecution, who went on to be killed in concentration camps. And the people that we are turning away today are at no less risk than those people were, and it's a shameful stain on American history. Like everybody else, we were kind of shocked and appalled to learn about the um, steps that the president had taken to institute kind of systematized religious persecution in a country that is founded on quite the opposite premise. Um, and so we kind of hopped into action to try to be useful along with many, many, many other attorneys um, across the city and across the nation. Um, from early on Saturday, we had attorneys and students um, throughout the weekend um, at the airports. There, there are still uh, attorneys and students from Cardozo, including from the Civil Rights Clinic as well, at the, at the airport. Um, and we have been um, working in somewhat of a fog because um, these people are, are being detained incommunicado and um, Customs and Border Protection Agency is refusing attorneys access to clients. So literally attorneys are milling around the airports um, looking for family members who are distraught because their loved ones are detained. We're learning about detainees in that way. We are immediately taking any case of any person who is unlawfully detained pursuant to the executive order and preparing um, habeas petitions to be filed in federal court. We've had a number of clients throughout the weekend that we've taken on in that way. So far we have uh, obtain the release of at least six different individuals. Um, in addition, uh, our clinic, um, together with the Center for Constitutional Rights, is developing a strategy in coordination with the ACLU and other co-counsel on the lead case in the Eastern District of New York to ensure that the systematized deprivation of counsel that is going on right now um, ceases. And so we are actively working on investigating and pursuing options to get kind of class-wide relief such that attorneys can get in and see these people who are being held in communicado. We're actively investigating um, uh, instances of non-compliance with the judge's order and to the extent that there is any systematized non-compliance, it's our intention to bring that to the court's attention right away and the court has kind of broad equitable powers to order any number of remedies including the return of individuals who have been wrongfully deported or access to counsel um, to ensure that her order is complied with and the jurisdiction of the court in the Eastern District of New York is maintained. Yeah, obviously we're only in the very early days of the Trump administration, but what we know so far is that this administration has no regard for the Constitution or the rule of law. Um, and so it is up to the thousands and thousands of people who are out in the streets in New York and have been over the weekend and across the country saying, not again, not here, not now. Um, and our part as lawyers is to make sure that we are supporting that movement at every turn and we are bringing the, the, the violations to the attention of the federal courts immediately. Um, and that's what we did this weekend and that's what we'll continue to do.